We do start, though, with Britain's royal family bracing for the fallout over that first U.K. interview with a woman who says that she was directed to have sex with Prince Andrew. The BBC set to air an hour-long interview with Virginia Roberts Jufre, and ABC's Julia McFarlane joins us now from our London bureau with more. Julia, good morning. Good morning, Whit. Yes, that's right. Prince Andrew's woes dominated the headlines these last two weeks, and with this new interview with his accuser, this story is not going away. This morning, the palace surely is on guard as they prepare for the highly anticipated interview with Virginia Roberts Gaffre about her accusations. It was a really scary time in my life. Roberts Gaffre sitting down with BBC Panorama in her first UK interview, airing Monday. One of Jeffrey Epstein's accusers, she's alleging that she was 17 when she was directed to have sex with Prince Andrew in 2001. Prince Andrew categorically denies her allegations. He knows what happened. I know what happened. And there's only one of us telling the truth. Roberts Gaffre, now a 35-year-old mother, says British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell recruited her when she was 16, then groomed her to become Epstein's teenage sex slave. In court filings in a defamation case against Maxwell, Gaffre claimed Epstein ordered her to have sex with some of his powerful friends, including on three occasions Prince Andrew, in London, at Epstein's home in New York, and on his private Caribbean island. Maxwell is not facing any criminal charges in this case and has insisted all of Gaffrey's allegations, including those about Prince Andrew, are false. The prince has said he had never witnessed any of the criminal conduct that Epstein was convicted or was accused of. Just weeks ago, Prince Andrew breaking his silence in an interview with the BBC, maintaining he has no recollection of Robert Gaffrey, denying all of her claims, including that he ever had sex with her. You can say categorically that you don't recall meeting Virginia Roberts, dining with her, yep. dancing with her at Tramp, yep. or going on to have sex with her yes. in a bedroom in a house in Belgravia. I, I can absolutely categorically tell you it never happened. Do you recall any kind of sexual contact with Virginia Roberts no, then none, or any other time? None whatsoever. And for this now infamous picture of the two together, the prince saying it could be a fake. The fallout has been steep for the Queen's third child, now stepping away from his royal role and public duties for the foreseeable future. More than a dozen charities and organisations cut ties from him, like the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, distancing themselves from him. Has it been long-term damage to the monarchy? I don't think so. It's certainly been extremely embarrassing for the Queen, embarrassing for the country, and has probably wrecked whatever good that Prince Andrew did in his royal career. Well, Scotland Yard said this week it would not open a criminal investigation into the allegations because it would be largely focused outside of the UK. However, they added that they had liaised with other law enforcement organizations. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.